All right, what is up you guys? Uh, thanks for clicking on the video today. We're gonna get started on Subaru six speed swap related material. Today, what I wanna start with is trying to get the, the rear end fully disassembled, get the subframe dropped out. First thing I'm gonna start with is just kind of removing some of the suspension stuff. I got the uh, quick jacks my friend DJ let me borrow. Shout out to Garage Guru TV, I'll put a link in here. So we're gonna get the car lifted up and then uh, start taking apart some of the stuff. First thing on my list is gonna be to get this exhaust out of the way because uh, all that's gonna have to come down. I'm gonna take out the downpipe too, but probably a little later. Uh, but for now, I'm just gonna disconnect it at the back of the downpipe and pull that stuff out. <laughs> So exhaust is out. Now I'm gonna take the tires off. We can see there's a lot more room now. The exhaust isn't there. Uh, I'm gonna take the wheels off and start to disassemble the suspension and get all that stuff out. <laughs> Let's see if these axle nuts give us any trouble. No issues. The motherfucker put these uh, bell housing bolts on really tight last time. <laughs> Beautiful. Cleaned up the subframe here, uh, painted it up a little bit. Not a perfect paint job, doesn't have to be. Uh, but I kind of just covered up the uh, exposed like rusty spots with the rust converter spray. Uh, just did a light coat and then I also finished uh, pressing in these bushings the rest of the way so now that they're actually fitted up there correctly they should uh, work a little bit better be a little less ghetto so I'm gonna get this thrown in the back of the car again let me start putting the rear suspension together I ordered a new rear differential gasket um, so I'm waiting for that to show up but I'm still gonna throw the diff in there so I can put the axles in and everything and then when I get the gasket I can just remove this outrigger right here and then slide it forward and drop it down and then replace the gasket and then put it back up. I don't have to pull the diff out for that. So in order to keep the project moving, I'm just going to put that in now and then I'll do that when the gasket does come in. So we got the subframe loosely bolted up. I didn't do anything with the front here. Uh, I didn't put the 
thing that goes to the trailing arm mount on there yet because uh, obviously the trailing arm's not there yet. So we're gonna leave that there for now. Um, and then when we need to install it, we'll just loosen it. But these will still be, you know, snug. And then at the end, I'll come through and torque these these two guys up. Before I start putting control arms and, and trailing arms on, uh, we're gonna go throw in the differential here uh, and hang the axles so that we can put them into the new hubs. All right, so here's the new Spec B axle from Subaru that's gonna go in. And then I'm gonna put some anti-seize on this side uh, just so it doesn't get seized up inside the uh, the hub. Um, and I think, so this, this is only connected up here and over here, so it still moves quite a bit. So I think that should give us enough room to put the axle in on both sides, um, but we'll see. If not, I'll unbolt this and figure it out. So finally got that one in. Uh, this rear suspension stuff is really hard to line up and everything's heavy, so it's tricky. Um, so all I gotta do left now is connect these lower control arms and the shock, and then reconnect the brake lines and the brake caliper and the sway bar. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all the suspension stuff uh, put together, and then I will be back once I have both sides done and we're ready to move on to the next step. We got the suspension back together uh, for the most part. Um, Axles are in. Axle, yeah, axles are in. Um, everything, yeah, everything's been good. So now I just need to go through and uh, torque everything and make sure everything's torqued to spec. Then we can move on to the front. We got all the suspension back in, the subframe back in, the rear diff is in, the rear axles are in. Um, so everything's in here. Uh, I need to pull the uh, lower control arms off again and replace the bushing because they're a little they're a little worse for wear. So so that's gonna wrap up part one of the Subaru six speed swap uh, video. Part two will be coming out soon. Uh, so stay tuned for that video. Part two, we're gonna start working on the actual transmission and stuff. Uh, getting the new one put in and everything to connect the front to the rear. If you like the video, please leave a like down below. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below. If you're unsubscribed, please consider subscribing. As always, thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one. Peace.